Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got a 10 minute lower body stretching flow. This one I'm doing because I just did a leg workout at my gym and if I don't stretch, I am so sore throughout the rest of the week. I know I've been gone for ages. I actually was switching jobs. So now I'm doing something completely different. Gotta change my workout routine a little bit, but I'm still doing yoga and Pilates and can't wait to share with you more videos. If you're ready to get started, grab your water, grab your mat and let's go. Hey guys, so I want you to find a nice quiet spot to do this routine. Make sure you're not gonna be bothered. And let's start at the top of our mats, feet shoulder width, and we're gonna take some shoulder rolls, shrugging your shoulders back. Nice deep breaths. And then reverse direction, shrug them forward. Do what feels good here if you'd like to look to the ground or look up to the sky. And then when you're ready, open your arms wide and add an arm circle really exaggerating the movement. And last one, reverse directions, taking your arms back, opening through the chest, breathing deeply here. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, really opening through the chest, and then roll forward and come to a forward fold. Hang here, find a nice comfortable sway from side to side if that feels good shifting your weight, feeling that stretch all along the backs of your legs. Don't forget to breathe here. And then make your way back to center, planting your fingertips, reaching up for flat back, gazing toward the top of your mat, and then exhale, forward fold. We're gonna do that two more times, or as many times as feels good for you. And fold forward, find yourself forward fold, bend your knees, and we're going to uncurl, coming into a standing position, reaching fingertips to sky one more time. Exhale your arms back to your sides, hands to your hips, and you're gonna hinge at your hips, allowing your back to stay nice and flat, and then coming back to standing. As you hinge, really focus on the stretch in your hamstrings and the connection as you squeeze through the butt to stand back up straight. And last time, hinging at the hips, allow your hands to sweep down toward the mat, fingertips lightly just for support, and again, gently sway from side to side here, focusing on the hamstring stretch in one leg and then in the other. Great job. Walk your hands forward. We're gonna come into our first downward facing dog. Engage through the arms and raise your hips toward the sky. And if you'd like, come up onto your tippy toes, really stretching through the arches of your feet and the backs of your legs, and then lower back down and just alternate at your own speed. Take one more tiptoe up and back down. And now go ahead and reach that right leg up to the sky for a three-legged down dog, only as high as your leg can be straight. You'll get more vertical distance with practice. Point your right foot, reach through the toes, engage the arms. You should be feeling very strong and stable. And then step that foot forward between your hands and find a comfortable position. Take your time here, really push through that left hip, stretching the left hip flexor, and then lower that left knee down to the ground and shift your weight back for a delightful hamstring stretch. Flexing that front foot, and you can take a little bit of a flat back here if that helps you to feel a little bit more of a stretch in that straightened leg. One more big deep breath, and then on your inhale, shift forward, opening the chest, coming into another hip flexor stretch, breathing. And last breath, pick that left knee up off the ground, step back with your right foot, and press your heels back, downward dog. Deep breath to prepare, and then on your next inhale, 
reach the left toes up to the sky for three-legged down dog. Keeping those hips level and straight with the front of the mat and making sure that leg is as straight as it can be. Great job, step the foot forward to come into lunge. Your fingertips on the mat just for support. Your goal here is to have your gaze forward, chest lifted, really feeling the hip flexor stretch on your right side. And now transitioning into hamstring stretch, go ahead and drop the right knee, straighten the left leg, flexing that left foot, allowing yourself to hinge over that straightened leg. And last breath here, we're gonna shift back into the hip flexor stretch on your next inhale, shifting your weight forward, pressing through the hips, opening through the chest, taking a couple head rolls if that feels good. And get ready, we are going to take the right knee up off the ground, step back with the left foot, and press back to down dog. Go ahead and elephant walk your feet towards your hands, allowing your upper body to hang, bending through the knees, and finding a standing position. Quad stretch now, so go ahead and balance on your left leg, take your right foot up back behind you, keeping your knees in line. You can either stay here, or if you'd like some more, mostly a balance challenge, allow your body to hinge towards the mat, keeping hold of the right foot, and breathing, trying not to fall in the swimming pool. <laughs> And last breath. Go ahead and release the foot. Stack the foot on the left knee and sit down for a figure four butt stretch. Great for the balance. And unravel yourself. We're gonna hinge at the hips, coming into a well-deserved forward fold just for a moment. and then bending the knees and rolling slowly back up to standing. Let's hit the left quad. So take the left foot in the left hand, driving the knee down toward the ground, breathing deeply. And then if you'd like to do some more work here, you can actually hinge forward, gently resting your right hand on the ground for support and stability. Great job, we're gonna come into the figure four standing stretch. Resting the left foot on the right knee and sitting down nice and deep. The deeper you sit, the more you will feel the stretch. Go ahead and unravel that leg, find a nice comfortable stance, and once more hinge at the hips, stretching the backs of the legs finding a nice forward fold, allowing the head just to hang, tension draining out of your back, and then slowly bend the knees, come down onto your butt, and roll down onto your back. We're gonna do that figure four stretch again, but even lazier. So right foot over left knee, and if that's enough for you, that's totally fine. You can pick your left leg up off the ground for a little bit more. You can also grab the back of your left leg and bring it slowly, gently towards you as you flex the feet. And sometimes I like to switch it up and just grab higher up my leg and it gives me a little bit more leverage and makes me feel the stretch a lot. Be sure no matter where you're at that you're breathing as this can be quite intense. Fill your lungs with oxygen. And on the exhale, release your left leg toward the ground and bring your right leg towards you. If it's bent, that's fine. You're gonna work towards getting it straight, pointing through the toes, feeling that extension. Again, an intense stretch, so breathe through it. I like to point through the toes, flex through the toes, take the ankles for a roll in one direction and then the next. Really play with the pose and just do what feels good for you on this day.
Great job, release the right leg to the ground, hook the left ankle over the right knee, and again for the figure four stretch. So bringing that right leg towards you if that feels good, pressing the left knee away. You can try picking your upper body up off the ground a little bit, that could help. Or if you wanna go crazy, grab that right leg way up by your ankle and bring your leg towards you that way. Go ahead and exhale, releasing the right leg to the ground, coming into that straight leg stretch, left leg coming towards you, and again, pointing and flexing through the feet. Last breath here, we're gonna exhale our legs out to the sides, grabbing the bottoms of our feet for happy baby pose, and maybe adding a gentle rock from side to side. And last breath, release your legs, roll yourself back up to seated. Bottoms of the feet together for butterfly stretch, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders away from ears, and I want you to take your head in a giant circle, stretching out the neck, taking your time here, exaggerating the circles. One more in this direction, and reverse directions. last deep breath and we are done thanks so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video i'm really glad to be back if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see please leave me a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you again soon bye